I got that back. But this is a Santa part. And um, basically, this would be, be perfect for a homeschool or a, a, pub, a public school setting just because um, it's um, very educational because you can look for things. You can use a pen or a pencil to look for things. And this can be really educational if you did like a page a day. And then like, for like example, right here is search for Santa. So on these pages, you would search for Santa and then you would circle the Santa or whatever. And then there would even be like some cases where you would circle, if I can find it, there, there, there would be like some cases where like there, 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 there wasn't even a search and find and it would be like, um, so here are the different picture, Christmas pictures to look for on each of the 12 days. So I think that is very cool. Um, and, um, then you can kind of, here's some more search and find. And then you have over here, you have more of like the more funner ones because like you can search for santa's helpers in these ones and then you like search for the santa's helpers and you can like all the like fun like have fun with that and search for them and all that fun stuff and but like each one gets harder and harder and harder and yeah that, and then that's it, that's it i mean this would be per more perfect for a homeschool sitting than a um public school just so that this would this you can that you, you could like like you could like bring out like around like December 1st and do it to like all the way to like December 25th for Christmas day. So this would be more perfect for not, um, I mean, it would, it would be perfect for, for school for like their brain and have fun for like that one, that individual kid to do, excuse me, every day or do a page a day or do this book in one day, or you could do use this as a Christmas countdown and do this book every day leading to Christmas. So this is in our fun book. I think I got that one echo, echo, echo but I could be wrong. A Disney Beauty and the Beast book. This, this is very nice. And this is as I got for photos at TJ Maxx. Um, nice book. I also have trouble with pets, Berenstain Bears. Uh, the Truth, Berenstain Bear book. This is 079. And then I also have Kanga and the Baby Gru come to the forest. These are, these are, this is a perfect little story book for, um, for uh, like uh, public pu well, school or, pu or public school, just because it's one of those nice fun books that has pictures and words and um, perfect for that one for kindergarten that um, well not exactly kindergarten but like maybe like first to second grade um, to have fun with because there is some more advanced words than a, than a kindergartner would know. But so it's a very nice book. I think I think I got that one from a thrift store. This is a very old book, very old book, but this is the case of Scarlet, Scarlet Cats. This is a very old book, as you guys can see. The copyright on this book is going to be, I don't even know what the, what the copyright is. Oh, um, 1971. So this is a very nice book being in that condition it's in. Um, I think I got this from a, from a thrift store or from a, um, Or from Goodwill. This is another one that I got from my believe a thrift store. Um, or Goodwill. This is the Oliver. Again, another one. This came, I believe, that this is the copyright is very old on this one too. Copyright is 1960 for this one. But it's a very nice book. Again, now this one is more in poorly conditioned on the inside more than anything else. But the outside still were Sorry guys, I farted. Um, but it still reflects a very nice book on the um, inside, um, like with nice pictures and illustration. So, yay! And then I also have Ten Little Ladybugs. This is a perfect one. This is perfect for kindergarten, for homeschool, or for classroom because what I like about this one is that it's very educational. And I know that they're going to be. It's. Uh, I know that 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 kindergartners are going to be counting. And um, kindergartners and any kid like like homeschool and elementary school, they're going to be counting. And this is a this is perfect for a um, for kindergarten in case you want to do it a fun way, and you get to count with ten ladybugs, and they're all colored, and then you get to read a little thing down here, and then as you do it, each like like ladybug goes away. So I think that is very nice, um, and you can count. 
you can count with the students and everything. This is a nice read aloud or just to focus on a, uh, a, spe a specific counting unit for kindergartners um, or for homeschool uh, for counting. Uh, and I really like the um, the value of this. And these are not plastic. Well, actually, they're, they're basically like hard plastic, but they're very nice hard plastic um, that don't feel like they're going to break easily. Um, and I love this. And then you get a colorful page at the end. But it's, but, but it's a nice educational way to actually learn um, your numbers along with you also get some ladybugs in it too, which I know what kid does not like li like ladybugs, which I know I do. So I know this is going to be perfect for a kindergarten um, respective for a classroom or for homeschool. Very educational. I think I think I got that from a parent. It's still at like Goodwill right here. Um, but yeah. I also have the um, the spiders. This is going to be super educational for homeschoolers or public school because I know um, um, if you guys are doing a spider unit, this is again going to be super good um, for educational stuff um, because you can. I actually forgot where I got this. Maybe, um, sorry, but you get a, but you get a, a, a thing of contents and then you can do a close look, which is really nice of a spider. And then it's like a place to live, blah, blah, But these are like very nice. This is going to be very educational for maybe like a kindergarten um, room or a homeschool or even what's, this would be really, this would be really perfect for like, um, like middle school um, to like have like a, if you guys are having like a, um, a study on, um, what's that called? Um. You guys are having a study on um like food like not not food but um on what do you call it um if you're having a study on like um spiders for for homeschool or um public school this is gonna this, this is gonna be a very nice book that will blend in with that unit and i and you can do a page a day if you want to um, to preserve the use of this book, but it's very nice in case you are trying to do a spider unit and you don't want to do it in like a very hard way that that, that kindergartners and really any grade will understand. So this, this is perfect. I forgot where I got this book, but it's a very nice educational one and this is a very nice one for um, homeschool or even for the classroom. This is the missing kitten. You get three stories in, in your, the missing kitten, the abandoned kitten, and the unwanted kitten. I, I, think I, got, I think I got that from a gift shop. Another, another one, this is the one from Walmart, and this is the Rumpelstiltskin um, one. Again, one of those books where that only focuses on one specific um, story, which I really enjoy. Now, the printing is very small for these books, but um, it's very nice. And there's tons of pictures in these. These are perfect for, for kindergarten to first graders. And these, um, perfect for little read-alouds. Um, these books are so perfect 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 so yeah and then of course we also have the chicken and mittens got from a book subscription i think and this is the beginning re reading so this is perfect for uh i believe let's see yeah so yeah and then i also have orthos camp out this is the level two grades one to three This, I think, would, would, would be perfect for a um, fun read aloud for kin for kindergarten to even first grade um, with the words and, ev and everything like that in it. Pictures don't seem that co that complicated, and also words don't seem that complicated as well either. So I don't know why they labeled this a, like um, for grades two to three, but I mean, I can see why they would just because um, it's um, a book that has more higher words than, than a different book would. But if you want to, you can you, you can read this um you can read this in one day or you can read this a di like you can read this in let's see or you can read this in chapters. So you can read you can read until chapter four. So you can read four chapters of this each day, or you can read a page a day or whatever. So, so that's perfect again for homeschool or 
a um, public school. Biscuit is another fun one. Um, I love this book. It's very nice, very fun, very educational. Uh, not very educational, but it's the 60th anniversary of Biscuit. So, yeah. Then we also have the we the Weasels. Who 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 remembers these 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 type of books? These are very fun, very nice books. I love these. Um, this is actually my mom's book when she was younger. Um, but yeah. But these are very nice books. I love these ones. Um, wait. But very, very nice book. Um, thank you, Amelia Bedelia. I think I, I think I, I think I got, I, I got some from, from Goodwill. Roses are pink and your feet really stink. This is a perfect one for Valentine's Day in in class or per, or perfect for the um our homeschool because it's a Valentine's Day one and, and this is this is this would be perfect for the Valentine's Day. I think I actually forgot where where I got that one. I think I probably found that at Goodwill or thrift store or whatever. This is Franklin's blanket. This is Corduroy's birthday. I know I left the flap perfect for kindergartners because of the flap motion in these type of books. Um, let us get let's get this book out of the way. This is the bugs book and this is again perfect for if you have a bugs unit for homeschool or public school because you can read a page a day or whatever because it's a very nice educational one um it's a very nice one this one is this one goes more into detail and it tells you the name of them um, and then you get an actual full description um perfect for homeschool or public school of different animals so well bugs more like so this is perfect um, for a unit study on bugs. Um, it tells you all about them. And I love these type of bugs. Well, not bugs, but books. Um, and you can do like a page a day if you wanted to because these are more bigger um, pages. So this, so this book is pretty thick for a unit study of bugs. Um, and it's actually a pretty big, thick book for a unit study on the pages so highly recommend this book for a unit study on bugs i love this and i love how it's laid out um so this is perfect for a unit study on bugs for homeschool or classroom uh, very educational very educational i love it i love this i love it i love it i love it, I love it. And it we also have dinosaur graveyard perfect for um perfect for the kids just because it's very nice i love this one um I like how so like you can like lift this open right here, right? And when you when you open this up, it's a mirror, but then see it also like projects a dinosaur. But I like this book a lot. It's very nice. Can you, can you guys see that? It's like a it's like an actual. But anyway, so where do I got those books? This one I probably got from a thrift store. This one I don't remember where I got. And then these, and then this Corey book I probably got from Goodwill. If you guys are wondering where I got most of these books, they're probably from Goodwill, just FYI. These are these kids create um, create art and craft experience for three to nine year olds. This is perfect, perfect for homeschool or elementary school because, well, homeschool or public school because you get so many different act like crafts that I think this would be perfect for homeschool or elementary school. Um, even the, even these even these would be, these would work perfectly for homework assignments if you want to do that, um, but it's very nice and you can make so many different ones and um, what I think is really cool is that homeschool and 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 um, and uh, public school are gonna really like these books um, and they're very nice and you can make different types of crafts and they're very fun. I think about this at Goodwill. It's a very nice book, pretty sturdy. This, this is perfect for a crafts a craft study if you're trying to do that in homeschool or whatever. Another perfect book for education in homeschool or, pu or, or public school is The Wild. This is perfect for 
um, animals because it's a basically a whole animal book and we love animals and not only is it a storybook but it also has different animals in it so you, so not only can you read the book but you can also learn about different animals and look at the animals pictures and fun things like that so again perfect book um, print is pretty good on these books perfect for first grade classroom or public school or homeschool uh, and then I also I, I actually forgot where I got that one then I also have this book. Now you're probably like, oh, it's another one. So if you want to learn more numbers, this is perfect. This is Five Silly Monkeys. So almost like Five Little Monkeys, but it's Five Silly Monkeys. So again, this is a this one is the five one. So you can count to five or count backwards or, or whatever. Um, basically, it's the exact same thing as as uh, lo, as little monkeys. These are hard plastic heads, um, and these are part and the bodies are part of the book um but it's a very nice book i love these books and again this is perfect to count forwards or backwards from five to one or one to five or, 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 or whatever and again this is the, this is for an educational um number study um for kindergartners um for, for our public or homeschool this is this is gonna be perfect i love this book. ghost walk rescue your book and then i also have horton hatches the egg which this is a very nice book i love these books this this copyright is actually let's see the copyright on this book this book has been it's, oh, it's copyright copyright is 1940 so for how long this, this this book has been around or at least how much i've, I, I've had this book, it does have some wear and tear on the pages but besides that hmm, everything else is good about this book and i really like the book and then i also have the whale's song i think a friend gave a friend gave 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 this one to me um and i also have again if you're trying to do a do a unit study and you want to learn more words spanish and english searching is your key so not well, not certified but a pull of the tab language book so again, prepare for homeschool or, um, what's the, other? Oh, oh, sorry, I'm trying to look for homeschool or, um, not, not elementary school, um, homeschool or, homeschool or public school. Um, it's my first 100 words in Spanish and English, and this one isn't a search and find, but it's, but it's really nice. So, um. If you're trying to learn Spanish, this is perfect. So you get a scene right here, and you can read it if you want to. Huh. It says, see how many things that are in the picture that you can name in English and Spanish. Pull the tab to change languages. So you're so they're currently in English, and then you pull this tab, and you see them in Spanish, and then you can go and search them in here. It's a very nice, fun book um, to pull the tab on. And um, it's very nice for if you're wanting to learn a new language or you are trying to have a new course or like ha or, you, or you have a unit study for, for, for Spanish to English. This is perfect um, to this. This is a perfect book to actually do that with. Um, it's almost like a, like a search and find. Um, and I like how you get the different types of pictures and then you can pull the flap, not not not, not the flap, but the languages. And you still get the images, but you get to do it like do it like this. So I think that is very nice. Um, so this is the farm. We also have the store. And then you have them all in English, and then you pull it, and then you have them all in the Spanish form. And then also over here we have the park. And you pull this, and there's the park, and then you pull that back up. Uh, the town, and you have this, and you pull that down, and you do that. And then you pull this back up. And then you also have at home, and you have all the items, and then you just pull this down, and you have that. And then you pull this back up, and you have that again. And then again, you can use this. So. It says right here how the words sound. So this is the, these are the ones in English. This is the ones in Spanish. And then these are the ones how you 
This is how you pronounce all of them. If I'm, if I'm getting that right. So, this is very nice. I love this. Um, it's very nice if you're doing a Spanish to English study or an English to Spanish study and you want something fun and educational for the younger kids uh, for homeschool or public school. This is going to be perfect for that. And then also if you are trying to do a um, French to English one, they also offer the French to English um, book too. So that's perfect for a French to English unit study. But I know for younger kids, you're, gonna, you're probably going to want to do Spanish to English and then French to, Sp to English um, to get that kind of flexible. But this is perfect for homeschool and also um, in, um, in uh, public school. Mm. Um, this is also very perfect for teaching the kids to for count like count to five if you have a five unit a five unit study and then all or a number unit unit study to five and then also in animals this is perfect to learn about the animals but yeah I'm just gonna put, put all these back and yeah I'm probably not I'm probably not going to do the rest just because I want to do something else so. Let me put these back and then I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to do next. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try right here, right here, right there. Okay, there we go, there we go. And then I'm just gonna put these back in there. And there we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, here we go. Come on. So, I'm gonna go publish this video. And, well, not put, well, do all the stuff I have to do to upload this video. And then I will, um, I think I will show you guys what will be next on, on, on our agenda. So thank you guys for watching this, I, this video. I will say, I, I am going to be doing part two tomorrow or the next day. I'll probably be doing part two whenever I feel like it or I have time. Or and when, and when I have time. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. And I'm gonna go publish this. Well, get this video uploaded, and then um, I will come back with the next thing that I'll be doing on YouTube or on Hi on Kylie's place. So, bye bye, bye.